Hello and welcome to Real to Real. Today we start with an update on the new Pope Francis High School. There's lots of excitement surrounding the progress for the new facility on Wendover Road. Back in September, there was the groundbreaking ceremony and this past week, coinciding with Veterans Day, a special dedication to the Sullivan family. Gunnery Sergeant Tommy Sullivan, a Marine, was killed in a terror attack in Tennessee in July 2015. Sullivan was a graduate of the former Cathedral High School. Carolee McGrath brings us up to speed on all that's happening at the site of the future Pope Francis High School. We honor our veterans in your name. We thank you as we thank them for their sacrifice. The community of Pope Francis High School, board members, administrators, teachers and students rallied around the Sullivan family, naming the new plaza at the future school after fallen hero, Gunnery Sergeant Thomas J. Sullivan. The Springfield Marine and Cathedral graduate was murdered in July 2015 in a shooting at a Naval Reserve Center in Chattanooga, Tennessee, as he helped people to safety. That plaza at Pope Francis High School will be a reminder to us of the great sacrifice that Gunnery Sergeant Thomas Sullivan has made and indeed an inspiration to all of us that we are called to follow his good example. We all went to Catholic school our entire lives. Holy Cross in East Forest Park, right on Plumtree Road, and then, or it's on Eddywood, and then uh, Cathedral. We're all, we're all graduates of Cathedral High School. Um, that they recognized in this way is so, so important to us. It's such an honor, you know, to, for him, for our family, and it just shows, like, how Holyoke Catholic and Cathedral High School merged to Pope Francis, it shows that, you know, the community comes together and can support any one of us at any time. So I think it's fitting that the new school, you know, merges all the beliefs together. Students from Holyoke Catholic and Cathedral officially came under one roof here in Chicopee at the start of school in September. In the meantime, construction is underway at the Surrey Road location in Springfield. Okay, everybody, let's dig into the ground. Whoa. In September, a groundbreaking ceremony was held, marking a new chapter in Catholic education in Springfield. I'm thrilled. I mean, I think everybody that was here today is thrilled. It's been a long road since June 1st of 2011, and um, we got here, and we got here in unity, um, working hard together, getting over the bumps, and moving forward to a new day for um, Catholic education here in the diocese. And, and like I mentioned earlier, it, this, it, it's, it's no doubt going to be a, a, as, as powerful a presence in the community as the two legacy schools. The 2011 tornado severely damaged the former Cathedral High School in Springfield and the surrounding East Forest Park neighborhood. The merger was announced last year and the Springfield location was chosen. In October, construction began at the site to ensure the building will be ready for students for the start of school in 2018. Braden Brown, a senior at Pope Francis, has been a member of the merger committee. It was great to see the culmination of everything coming together, being on the merger committee and everything, to see the school finally come together uh, and break ground. It's just a huge, huge day. Congressman Richard Neal, who sent his four children to Cathedral High School and who taught there, helped the diocese secure funds from the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, to rebuild. Well, this is an unambiguous moment. I think that this debate, it, which went on for a long period of time, concludes today with the groundbreaking. I, I also think it calls attention to the national principle, and that is when there's a uh, hurricane or a tornado, it might not be in the particular part of the country we live in, but we all come to the aid of members of the American family. And, there's a very handsome contribution here that FEMA made, almost $40 million, uh, to make sure that this day came about. Sister of St. Joseph Maxine Schneider took part in the ceremony. Sister Schneider, the president of the Sisters of St. Joseph of Springfield, says her community has a long, proud history, dating back to Cathedral's founding in 1883 of teaching students throughout the diocese. She says she's happy about the endowment fund, which will offer tuition assistance to families who need it. You know, for decades, so many of us, when we were students ourselves, came to Catholic schools tuition free. And it's done wonderful things. But we believe truly that education has the power not just to change the life of an individual, but as someone once said to me, to change the story of an entire family. And with the Gunnery Sergeant Thomas J. Sullivan Memorial Alumni Plaza, 
students at Pope Francis High School for years to come will understand perhaps better the sacrificial love of Jesus and his followers. Reporting for Real to Real, I'm Carolee McGrath. The school is scheduled to be ready for the fall of 2018. Meanwhile, the student body has successfully merged at the temporary location in Chicopee.